I think the biggest challenge uh, out here in the backcountry is to, to get lift and, and not to get stuck. You know, we always want something lighter, something better, and I think we've got it now. The side bite the track has is very nice. It doesn't wash out on the side hill, and that is, that is very big. As backcountry snowmobiling keeps evolving, um, we keep trying to make the sleds just to get up on top of the snow. And one thing that has really hit me hard is just how big of an effect rotating mass has um, on, on the sled. And, and not just the sled, but how the sled handles. That's the, the biggest agenda that Camzo has for us Western riders is how do you make a track that not only lifts on top of the snow, but also in those spring conditions isn't too soft and uh, will compromise uh, what the sled will do in, in the more harder conditions. You know, being an experienced rider like myself, um, I can feel a little bit more than most, but I think that your, your average riders are really gonna be able to tell the difference with this track. It's not just gonna be the professional guy that's out there that knows tracks all the time. An average rider can get on this track, do better in the backcountry, and really feel the difference. What has impressed me the most about it is that it allows me to ride slower without um, without trenching. And where that helps me with uh, the tr type of riding I like to do in the trees is there's certain times when you don't want to go fast and you don't want to trench. And, and having a track that has that ability to not sink, um, that's key.